Viv back at home uh, after a year of being at Blackpool. So Birmingham to Blackpool, we're now back again. The pitch where I used to train as 18s, 23s. I mean, took us through the, the past 12 months. It's been quite a season for you. Yeah, it's been a great season to be fair. The fact that um, the manager gave me the opportunity to play week in, week out and trust in me. So yeah, it was good, it was great. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. I just want to say thank you to everyone over there. So yeah, it was good. 47 appearances. I mean, this is your first full season really as a professional. We know you've got a young player here in 15, 16, but to play an entire campaign of football when it matters as well, there's so much riding on it. How different was that to what you've experienced before? Um, it was different because I was starting like with all the games and obviously before when I was young, 15, 16, I was like coming on more as an impact player and I started a few in there, but it was different because it was like actual respons responsibility mm -hmm. to start from the beginning and finish the match and obviously people relied on me. So yeah, it was different, but it was enjoyable at the same time because that's what I love to do. So yeah, it was good. How do you find League One as a level? Yeah, I found it. I found it good. I knew that it would not be easy for me, but I knew I would be able to do very well because I believed in my ability. So yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. So yeah. Five goals as well. Obviously, you're always looked at what your currency is as a winger or as a forward-thinking player. To get on the score sheet five times, happy with that sort of return? Yeah, I'm happy, but I feel, I feel like I could, I could have got more, but I was happy with the five. So yeah, some good goals in there. So yeah, it was good. Let's talk a little bit about league football in general. For you to play so many games in League One and the change room atmosphere, there's players and there's jobs on the line when you're playing league football. It's different to 23s where you're sort of there to develop and to better yourself, but when you're playing League One football and there's jobs on the line, how different is that? Do you feel that pressure and that responsibility or do you just go out and play? You feel it, but I don't, because it's what you love to do, it kind of goes out the window and you just focus on the match and do what you've got to do as a footballer. So yeah, it was, it was all right, because obviously learning, being playing part of 15, 16 in the first team, obviously I kind of experienced that and I knew what the league was about and I knew what was at stake. So going into Blackpool and playing every game, I, I kind of knew what I had to do in terms of just go out there and be the best I can be. And obviously, thank God it paid off this season. So yeah, I'm very thankful and happy about that. So, yeah. In your early 20s now, but it wasn't too long ago that you was this sort of age. How quickly does the time go when you look at those boys out there enjoying their summer drills? Uh, it goes quick, but these are the best times for them now. It's just to enjoy themselves. And then as they get older, enjoy it. But also it's, so your whole life really is sacrificed, so yeah. But, yeah. Let's have a little wander over and we'll take a look at how they're getting on. I know you know Wes pretty well from your time here as well, but in terms of you know your progression and your development now, what's this last year done for you? You've you come back a, a player who now has proven himself at League One level. Do you feel like you're ready to hit the ground running here at Birmingham City now? Oh, 100%. The fans and everybody saw a brief spell of me when I was 19, 20, but now it's I'm 100% ready and I just can't wait to get back in to show everybody what I can do and, and how so much I've progressed as a player and as a person. So I'm just happy and I can't wait to do that, really. So yeah. You talk about play, the player and then the person. How different is that? You know, you talk about players who mature when they go away from home. You've been away from home quite young since you joined the club. Yeah. But to go away on loan at Bolton, then away at Blackpool as well, to live away from home. In terms of you as a person, how have you changed over the past couple oh, of years? I've learned a lot about life, different different things of life I've learned. And it, like I went into Blackpool, not as a boy, but like as someone who was going to learn and I achieved my goal, which was to go out there and play every game and show that the manager can trust me. And he's allowed me that and he's given me that, he's now given me that experience. So, yeah, it's been good. Man. So. Let's talk about the manager, Gary Bowie. He said he had to, he stays on top, when he stays on top of you, he brings the best out of you. Do you agree that he's a manager who got the best out of you this season? Yeah, 100%. He was always on me. Whether I was doing well, he wouldn't tell me. He'd always demanding more. Whether, say, for instance, the team wasn't really playing well in, in the first half, he would, he would shout at me <laughs> to get the best out of everybody and to get to get the best out of me and it helps me because I'll go back out second half and I'll be like, no, nah, I want to prove him wrong. Yeah. So it was good they got the best out of me and I just want to thank him again. So yeah. When, when managers are like that, you've got different management styles. When managers are on your back as a young player, you can go one or two ways. You can go within yourself a little bit, but it's interesting that you say you felt like that stirred you up a little bit. Yeah, yeah he got the best out of me. So like he would um, just obviously shout at me, but like, come on more, 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 which is good. Obviously, I want to do more. He, he knows I can do so much more than what I've done so it just stems me up to just go out there and just do even more and just be even better than I was in the first half regardless whether I was having a good game in the first half or not first half or not he still wanted more so which was good and it was demanding so like it was good yeah
you, you say you haven't had too much contact with anyone back here in terms of coaches and not too many visits in terms of players and coming back to the city. Do you think that's a, probably a positive thing? That you've gone away, you've experienced a full season now as a mature footballer at 22 years old. That's probably actually worked to your benefit, the fact that you've just distanced yourself from your parents. But... Yeah, like I just wanted to just get there, just focus and just reach my goals and my targets and just do what I had to do and just, yeah, so it was good. Sometimes it's the, for me, I think it was the best for me to do that, just to stay away and just to go out there and just and do what I do and enjoy it and then come back at the end of the season with a, with a good season, which I've had, so yeah. It's quite a bit, haven't you? Eh? Yeah, I have really. It's been, it's been weird stepping onto this AstroTurf. I don't think I've been here for like a year and a bit now, so but yeah, it's good. And then in terms of management, we've obviously gone through a number of changes over the past 12 months. Gary Monk's here now. Just chatting to you briefly off camera, you've already slightly met him, just very briefly. Yeah, I had a little brief chat and I had a little phone call with him as well and he just asked me about my loan, how it went, and he just said that, look, come back in pre-season and just see how you do. We want to have a good look at you, which is positive and good. I just want to get back in and show the new stuff what I can do so yeah how do you approach this new season still felt relatively young but you must have watched on and seen Bez make his debut Charlie Lakin's been involved Wes has obviously nailed down a place in the side as well now these are all players who you know really well yeah. to see that it must give you encouragement coming back yeah. into the fold now. 100% it shows that the manager has trust in youth and has faith in the young boys which is good so obviously as me as a young player it shows that if I come back and I do work and get a chance to be back in the first team so God winning, really, I just can't wait for that to happen. Well, hopefully it happens, so yeah. Definitely. Um, what does the summer hold for you? How do you approach this summer now? A few weeks off, or is it back to training, or what are you going to do? Well, for now, it's just relaxing, chilling with family and friends that I don't really get to see as often because I was away. And then I'll be back next week, I'll be back training and stuff like that. So yeah, that's, that's it, really. It must be nice just coming back into the club now, seeing the surroundings again, knowing that you're going to be back here in a few weeks' time. And you have a point to prove now. You've come back, you've proven yourself at League One level, played a full season, now it's time to step up another gear. Yeah, 100%. Like, it's, the facilities are amazing here, so I just can't wait to utilise that and start training again. So it's been good, yeah, happy. Let's have a little look at how these boys are getting on.